Hey, uh, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh, Sai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh, Sai, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh, Sai. Uh, all praise unto Yahweh, Sai, Yahweh, Sai, Yahweh, Mokakadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone and the honesty brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity far the four corners of the earth. So I'm um, back out here again for the grace and mercy of Yahweh, Sai, Yahweh, Yahweh, Sai, to go into these scriptures, all right, to prophesy against uh, this kingdom and um, to teach the Bible, okay? Amongst many other things, okay, the, the, the job of the prophets was to essentially to prophesy, which encapsulates a, a multitude of different different things. But all can be said that when the prophets was going to be on the scene, they was going to go into prophecy, okay. And this is what we're going to do today. We're going to go into the uh, topics, the uh, topic of the week, the topic of the month, the topic of the year, okay, which is this coronavirus. We're going to get into that a little bit. We're going to see how that pertains to the scriptures, and we're going to see. Uh, what also the scriptures say concerning uh, Esau and his judgment that was written about within the scriptures and um, you know that's what we're gonna get into okay so I wanted to start off so I'm okay over here isn't it? yeah it's a bit too close but it's raining that's better so I wanted to start in um, I forget what I was gonna start on now All right My garment once I tried to remember where I was gonna start. If I don't, I'll go, I'll go with another topic. Um, but pretty much, you can see um, the Lord's been working heavy over the Passover. Um, you know, the death toll of this corona keeps on going up, which is a beautiful thing because that's the judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. That's the ju judgment of Yahabah Shimei Shai coming about on this earth and um, on the, onto these people. Okay, a long time they thought things was gonna continue as they are right now. And it was just going to continue forever and ever and ever. You know, people were playing games. But now people are getting very spiritual right now. Because it's the time we're in the highest beginning to judge the world. But guess what? The scripture talks about how the Heavenly Father was going to be... You can go through, mate. The, the Heavenly Father was going to be... Um, uh, pretty much uh, it was going to be uh, like unto... Um, uh, what's it called? Murph out here. For, for a long time. And it was going to be talking about peace and safety. But guess what? The, the sudden destruction was going to come about. Okay, the Heavenly Father was going to get it to where the sudden destruction was going to come about in this place and these people were still not going to want to repent, man. Okay, they were still wanting to um, uh, worship their different deities. Alright, you got it to where people right now are getting, you know, the wipe was apple, but who's really returning back onto the Heavenly Father? Okay, it's the elect men of the, 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 the children of Israel that are returning back onto the Heavenly Father. The rest of these people and the rest of the people within, the, within Israel that are not of the elect are not concerned about uh, 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 the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, they're still in a state of playing games, okay? I'm going to start here within the book of 2 Peter, the third chapter. Then I'll go into it, um, you know, pretty much in the spirit. Okay. Right, so the book of 2 Peter is the third chapter, and this is starting for, uh, the third verse, okay? So knowing uh, 2 Peter is 3 and 3, knowing this first, that at the last time there shall come scoffers walking after their own lust. So that you had it to where a lot of people was walking after their own lust, they were scoffing, okay? Speaking against the men of the Lord and the, the teachings that we had, and they were saying that our, what we was teaching was false. But guess what? All right, lo and behold, you know, these prophecies are coming to pass and you're seeing a lot of people that are, are, are being are, are killed by way of this coronavirus, man. And there's going to be a lot more judgments that's going to come about within the earth other than just the coronavirus. When we read the scriptures and we go into the prophecies that the Heavenly Father's put out there, pretty much what you have is a situation where the scripture talks about how the, that it was going to be death, uh, famines and destructions that was going to come about upon the earth and these was going to be the judgments for the sins of the people. Let's go into the book of Amos, the ninth chapter and the ninth verse. So Amos 9 and 9, it says there, For lo, Amos 9 and 8, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. So this is the sinful kingdom. When we go into the book of um, uh, Job, the 30th chapter, Job 9 and 24, it says, The earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. And when we go into the book of Proverbs, we read within the book of Proverbs, if the leader is unrighteous then the people of the earth was going to be unrighteous okay if the leader of the people was going to be unrighteous then you got it to where all right the people of the earth was going to be unrighteous 
So if it is right now, you got it to wear, you got it to wear what? You got it to wear, uh, there's an unrighteous leader within Esau, and you got it to wear, you got it to wear the people within the earth are unrighteous, all right? Wickedness is being upheld. In fact, when we go into the book of Isaiah, we find out within the book of Isaiah that the Heavenly Father set it up to where the things of this earth are turned upside down. That is to say, you got it to where uh, uh, you got a, a man wanting to be a woman and vice versa. You got it to where the laws of the Heavenly Father are not upheld, but they are shunned. You go into a bar somewhere with your so-called co-workers or you go there with your, with your woman, okay, your woman, which your woman is pretty much in the world, all right, and you go out there and you're trying to treat her to, to, to a, a so-called nice meal, what's going to be offered with, what's going to be offered on the menu as, as, as delicacies? You're going to see what's offered as delicacies is abominations according to the scriptures of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Okay? When you read, when you see what's upheld within the society as prestigious, it's wickedness in the eyes of the Heavenly Father, man. There are illicit sexual desires. Uh, uh, there are, um, uh, what, else are what, do they, what else do they uphold within the society? Okay? They don't uphold the, the family values. They don't uphold the, the, the true governmental values because many people will tell you that the government's there to control your mind which is what the word government means but there is a righteous way to control your mind and there's an unrighteous way to control your mind which calls back to remembrance that same scripture that i quoted a second ago that is to say when the righteous are in authority the people was going to rejoice because they was going to program the people of the world to do righteousness to be up before the eyes of the heavenly father but when the wicked are in rulership or well, they was going to govern the men the mentis okay of the people to do evils man that's why they're signing off legislation like that like the scripture says war unto them that decree unrighteous decree right that's why they're signing off particular legislation to allow these people to be freaks to allow these people to be wicked and to allow these people to be basically to self-destruct man so that's why the scripture says what it says in the book of amos 9 and 8 it says behold the eyes of the lord power upon the sinful sinful kingdom and what does that mean essentially that essentially means that the heavenly father has got the angels out here watching everything that these people are doing okay all of these uh, all of these are, are abominable acts that these people are committing they're being watched and now you're seeing it's where the judgment is going forth out there even if they thought they got away with it and then six months later a year later ten years later the most i just judged them in fact you got people being born right now okay they had a particular article where a, a, a baby or newborn baby had the, had the corona now some people might say why would the most i do that because the scripture talks about how the judgment of a particular person's act was not necessarily going to be uh, enlisted within their lifetime. They wasn't necessarily going to experience the judgment for their works within their lifetime. They might experience those particular judgments within a, a lifetime to come. That's why when you go into the Bible and you read about the, the, the time when Yahweh Shai was on the scene and the, the, the men that was with him asked him uh, 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 about a particular lame man. They said, why has this particular person been born lame? Is it because his father did the wickedness, his mother did the wickedness, or did he do the wickedness? And they was implying that this person did the evils in his previous life because this man had been lame from his birth. Everybody within the environment of Israel understood that the reincarnation of a particular person and a nation was their judgment as well. Here it is, we're living through our judgments. You go to where people are asking why the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans have been, have been born into these improvised situations. They've been born into them for, for the wickedness, their uh, wicked acts that they committed before their Heavenly Father, man. Okay, they, they're, in, they're uh, 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 working through their judgment. They're living through their particular judgments. Now you go to where the people of the earth right now through this corona, and which is going to turn into the, uh, uh, the famines, okay, which is going to turn into the World's War Three, and many other judgment events by where the Heavenly Father is out here within the earth. Okay? So behold the eyes of the little power upon the sinful kingdom, and I'll destroy from the face thereof. So this is just the beginning, man. Now, when you check out what's happening out there within, within China, and you check out what's happening throughout the four corners of the earth, you get a pretty good picture of the ascension of uh, what's going to happen to these Western countries, like Britain and so on and so forth, okay? All right? So depending on whether the, the, you know, the, the Wuhan and China and Italy go up or down, that's going to give us a good indication as to how these things are going to play out within the United States, which is currently on lockdown, and uh, the UK, which is going to be on lockdown in the next couple coming weeks. We'll get a good idea of that. But you got to you got people out there saying basically the Israelite, the Hebrew Israelites are happy now because that doom, gloom uh, event is playing out within the earth. And in some cases, yeah, we, you know, in, in some sense of the world, yeah, we are happy, but we are apprehensive, okay? We don't know how this thing is going to play out. We're just keeping a level head. 
right? But this is still judgment of the Heavenly Father when he was watching all of you people that are going to get the Wapples Apple doing your so-called wicked acts. The more side put that judgment out there, man. Okay, now he's putting that judgment, that particular judgment out there, okay, and, and, and people are not calling to remembrance to wick, their wickedness. The Bible speaks about how the, 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 the judgment was going to go forth and people were still not going to turn back from their evils, man. And that's the same thing you're, ha you're having happen right now. You got the Twitter, the judgment of the Heavenly Father, the death angel being unleashed out here within the Passover from, you know, November and that, and really it ramped up right around about the Passover right now, all right? You had that play out. But you're still going to have it to where people are going to be committing adultery, committing idolatry, man, worshipping the gods of the heathen. You're going to have that happen, and this thing might go up, it might go down, but if we got, regardless of that, those acts that are being uh, enacted are being recorded by way of the Heavenly Father, and the judgment is still going to go out forth out there, whether it's going to be by the corona, whether it's going to be by way of uh, another biological uh, form of warfare that these elites are going to unleash out onto the people. Remember what, one of the things that he was saying, he was that they was asking whether this was the Bill Gates, okay, uh, 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 virus. Because the thing that Bill Gates had been looking for for the longest was what? He was looking for that uh, uh, particular uh, 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 judgment. He was looking for that particular uh, um, virus that was going to depopulate the earth, man. Because going back onto the Georgia Guidestones, these at least want to depopulate the earth to a so-called manageable amount of people, man. But guess what? The heavenly Fa that's within the heavenly Father's plan because the Most High said that what? Behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the saves thereof. Saving utterly, I will not destroy the house of Jacob. So a multitude of people are gonna get judged for their wicked acts that they had enacted within this within this society, man. But the elect of the children of Israel, the elect of the, the, the people of the Heavenly Father, was going to have mercy as of the Heavenly Father because they was one of the elect, but two, because there was not going to be uh, found any guile within them, man. Which, which uh, is turn them out to the first statement, is that they are of the elect. Okay? See, when you go into where you're, you're dealing with the elect, you got a situation where whatever wickedness that they did, the Mosai said he wasn't going to find any guile in them. Okay? They was going to have mercy off of those particular acts, man. Okay, just like how King David had committed adultery in the most side. He didn't just, he, he, he overlooked his, he didn't overlook his uh, punishment. He gave him a different punishment. But when you look at the um, the Bible and read the judgment that was going to come about upon a man uh, for committing adultery, that was supposed to be death. Same thing uh, 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 with King Solomon. But King Solomon caught that particular uh, 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 um, rebuke. And that punishment, all right, which the script, scripture speak, spoke to King David about the, the chastity he was going to, if if the son of King David was going to come and he was going to go off and not follow the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, then he was going to be bruised by the hand of the uh, of the children of men. Okay, he was going to be bruised by the heathen. Now, now you had it to a what? When King Solomon had come back as, as Yahweh Shai, that particular judgment was played out, right? But guess what? He was still of what? Uh, of, uh, he was still of the elect. Okay, he was the, he was the the, the, found, the foundation of the elect, man. He was that head cornerstone. Okay, and the same thing applies to all of the men that are within his so-called uh, circle. Okay, he's 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 uh, uh, elected a uh, few. Let's read about the elect. The book of uh, Revelations. Let's the book of Romans eleven and seven. Uh, Romans 11 and 7 it says what then Israel has not obtained that which is seeking for but the election have obtained it So you got it to where right now all right people are out there looking for answers and why the most is having this particular judgment go out on the, on the earth But we know why this particular judgment is going out on the earth man We know why this particular judgment is going out on the earth because all of these people have been lollygagging and playing games Okay, and, and doing evil before their Heavenly Father now the most is turning the tide and judging them for their evils man Okay uh, what then Israel has not obtained what, you see, what, they, what it seeketh for? They seek the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Shimei Shai. They seek mercy. Okay, they seek uh, answers. Okay, of which all of these people should be asking for the answers. And the men of the Lord that was out there within the streets was going to have all the answers, man. Judgment for the deeds that you committed. This is what's being issued out here. Like, all right. What then Israel has not obtained that what you seeketh for? But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. All right. Uh, uh, um, and the rest were blinded as according. According as it is written, the Mosai has given them a spirit of slumber, right? And eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Okay, because that was the curse that befell Israel. Let's get another precept. You know, concerning the elect. Oh my God. 
right? The book of Revelations 14 and 5. Revelations 14 and, and 1. And it says, And I looked, and lo, a, a lamb stood on the Mount of Zion, within 144,000 having the, the Father's name written within their foreheads. Because the next thing for these elite, elites to do, the next thing that they're trying to do is to have everybody chipped, man. Okay, that's the next thing that they're trying to achieve. The next thing that the next goal that they're trying to go for is the chipping, the mass chipping of all the people upon upon the earth out here. That's what they're trying to go for next. Okay, and they could do it through this Corona by way of uh, 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 limiting how you travel and logging how you travel. You could do that with a chip, limiting how much food access and so on and so forth you have. They could do that with the chip. Okay, monitoring who's got the uh, you know who's got the coronavirus. I nearly said the Ebola there, but monitoring monitoring who has the coronavirus. Uh, 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 and monitoring how they was going to move and who they're related to. They could do all of that with the chip. So the Heavenly Father set up a chip on the left hand side, which is the Mark of the Beast RFID chip that Esau is going to come about on the earth with. And he also set up a right hand side chip, which, gonna, which was going to be the Mark of Exemption. Going back onto the book of Ezekiel 9 and 4, where it speaks about setting a mark upon the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man. That's what, that's what the men of love was going to be sent out here to do. In fact, we might go into that topic a little bit later on because that reminds me how I was going to start this encampment, which was going to be the simple statement that what? That the Heavenly Father might not necessarily have his men out here anymore. Okay, you've seen it out there within China. You've seen it out there within Italy, what they've been doing. They've been, limited, they've been limiting the amount of movement that you can have. They've been limiting the amount of mass, gathering that you, mass gatherings that you can have. So you really think in a situation like that where it's martial law, you're going to have it where the men of the Lord is going to be out there within the streets. You ain't going to have that anymore. That's what's known as the famine of the world. So this, this, this thing of the famine of the world might be enacted out here. Okay, it might be uh, fulfilled with this coronavirus. Again, we will have to see what happens with China and Italy to see what's going to play out here with, within the uh, so-called United States and uh, Britain and, and many other countries. Okay, so continuing here within the book of uh, Revelation 14 and 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. This is Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai was the embodiment of the perfect sacrifice for the children of Israel. When we go into the scriptures and we understand how the scriptures was going to be played out underneath the old Levitical law, okay, you had a situation where the reminiscence of sin was by the way of the blood, all right, of animals. More specifically, the highest form of, um, um, the most highest form, most uh, 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 highest form of sacrifice, since the, the the sacrifice at the Passover was that lamb. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but on the on the on, on, on the um on the uh, um on the Passover you would sacrifice a goat or you would sacrifice a lamb. So Yahweh Shai was that perfect lamb to take us the sins away from all of Israel. Hence the statement that's going to be made that it was going to be found no gal right amongst the elect elected men of the children of Israel okay they was gonna do whatever they was gonna do within their lifetimes but they was gonna wake up to this truth and they was gonna do what they was gonna be uh, living within this truth to the best of their ability and in living to the best of their ability within this truth okay the more side was gonna count their uh, iniquity uh, 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 void if you can understand what I'm trying to say they was gonna they were their guy their, their their works was not gonna be um their, their, the thing that they was gonna do that was going off the Mosai wasn't going to attribute to uh, attribute it unto them for sin, okay? And why is this all important? Because as, as Babylon burns, okay, the Mosai was going to have mercy upon the children of Israel. We read that within the book of Amos, the ninth chapter, okay? As you got into where Babylon is burning, well, the Mosai was going to have mercy on who? He was going to have mercy upon his elect. Why was he going to have mercy upon his elect? Because he selected them from the foundations of the earth. And hence the reason and the statement that's being said here, that's what? That there was going to be found no guile amongst the men of the Lord, man. Um, and I look, uh, so, so second verse, and I heard a voice uh, from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of the harpers harping with their harps. And they sang as it were a new song. And that's what we're doing right now. And when you go into this word new, new right here, uh, new is kainos, all right, which is a renewed, okay, refreshed. As aspect of form recently made fresh, okay, recent, unused, unworn, okay. So you can use that word interchangeably with the word new and refreshed. Now, why do I why do I bring that up? Because the culture of the children of Israel, the culture of the Israelites, was refreshed, okay. Here it is, we was living underneath Esau, okay, underneath his his laws, underneath his decrees, underneath his customs. Okay, you got people out here wearing the garments with mixed fabrics, 
okay? We, like this that, like this jacket. This jacket is an abomination before the, the, the sight of the Heavenly Father, man. The Most High said, if you was going to make a particular garment, you was going to leave that garment, you was going to make that particular garment of a one material. Yeah. Right? You're, so we're living underneath Esau's customs. We're living in through Esau's educational system. When we have the educational system set up within the, the, the land of Israel, or right underneath the constitution of the Israelite culture, which was the Bible, the main thing being taught and passed down was what? The Bible, science and mathematics. Those were the things that was being passed down. Those were the fundamentals of the Israelite culture. We wasn't passing down a uh, 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 nonsense, man. Okay, so I understand why this camera goes blurry now. It's when it's, it's, when it's wet. Okay, we wasn't passing down nonsense, man. We was passing down the, the, the fundamentals and the foundations and the essentials for running and um, uh, for running and keeping a, a, a well-oiled culture. That's what we was doing. Now you go into you go into Esau's uh, 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 um, educational system, and don't get it twisted. You might get a few, you know, good pieces here and there. Okay, you might get a few good pieces of information here and there. But the higher levels of understanding, they keep those higher levels of understanding unto the elites. There's particular books that you don't have access to until you uh, reach certain uh, levels of masonry, man. Okay, there's particular books that you don't have access to until you reach certain levels within the government. And that's where the the, the juice is at, man. Right, that's where the fat is at, man. Okay, so let's continue here. Um, so why was I saying? Is, why am I saying all of that? Because we're living underneath Esau's culture. So we came into the came from the world and we was living through Esau's culture. But we had to relearn our culture, which was the Hebrew Israelite culture. So it was renewed within us. It was made afresh. It was kindness. We sang that new song. Okay, so um, and they sang unto and I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping.